Their goal is to reduce the impact of jet noise in environments like aircraft carrier flight decks. These guys are sitting out there right next to the aircraft taking off for six hours a day, every day. Guaranteed hearing loss. Even with full hearing protection, the sound's traveling through their skeleton into their ear canal. The task that we are working on is trying to figure out a way to replace what's called the tail feathers. And if you look at the back end of a supersonic propulsion system, the jet nozzle, you see these pieces that kind of move in and out with each other, and those are called the tail feathers. We're trying to find a way that we can replace those tail feathers with a new part to reduce the noise. They'll use Schlaren imaging to compare their modified nozzle with a standard baseline one. Schlieren is a German word that just means uh, streak. So you see a streak in the image, a dark region or a light region. This is our Schlieren system. So it's set up to let us image the sound waves and the shock waves in the jet. Most people have seen this when they see heat waves rising off a pavement on a hot day. We have a light source on one side. The light comes all the way across and hits one of the mirrors and gets collimated so that all the rays are going evenly in the same direction. They go across and go through the jet, and the jet makes all the light rays move around. It's picked up by the other mirror and focused all the way back down to the camera again. OK, ready? Yeah, so look at that. That's Crazy right day. there at about the right test point. Yeah, yeah. look at the shock motion. So that's a beautiful thing, too. So this is our first result. And what we're seeing are a couple of things. We see these dark and, and light lines. Those are shock waves in the jet. Those are generated by pressure differences between what's inside the jet and what's surrounding the jet. Those pressure differences can cause large fluctuations that make sound waves. There's also some turbulence that goes along and it's just mixing up, but it's not mixing very well. So you have these large turbulent structures that go along and make large sound waves. You see that in the simulation as these acoustic waves that come off of the jet. And so those are large enough that if you're standing there, they can shake your entire body. And what we need to do is find a way to mix that up better, to even out the pressure differences so we don't create quite as large a sound wave. We still want the thrust, we still want the performance of the jet to be the same, but we want to protect those personnel so they're not affected by such a large sound amplitude. They remove the baseline nozzle so Nathan can pluck out the turkey feathers. So I'll swap out these pieces that are flat you can set one next to it, and you can tell I'm putting in this new piece that has a shape on it. And that shape is going to cause the air to get stirred up and the pressure to get balanced out. It just touches one of these contours, and that, that contour starts the process of the mixing, just like you've got your spoon in your coffee, mixing the, mixing the cream in there. And then as it, as it comes down through here, it starts to stir a little bit more, and then as the air leaves the nozzle, it's got this nice swirl to it. Okay, let's give it a try. See, we're gonna stir things up a little bit. They bolt the modified nozzle to the test drag. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, so you that. see you see that's the mixing. Look at that. The little streaks oh, yeah. coming out, that's the mixing part. Okay. Great, it's really awesome. It's exactly what we wanted to see. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. that is fabulous. That is amazing right there. So we're really happy with the result. We have our first test here that showed the shocks and the, and the mixing. We have our second test with the modified nozzle. Where we put the little contours in there that mix the flow up. On the bottom, we see the shock waves, and if we compare that to the top, we notice there's still some faint lines here, but those shocks are minimized, and that takes care of one of the primary noise sources. The second thing we see are these uh, turbulent structures that are going along. Up here, we see these streaks that are coming off. The air is getting stirred up as it goes down the nozzle. And as it comes off of those contours that we installed, it's mixing the fluctuations between the jet and the surrounding air more rapidly. So what was down here causing a very vibrant sound is now up here still very powerful, but it's making more of a sound. And so it changes the impact on the observer so it doesn't affect their hearing so much.